Today I want to talk about the echo and reverberation, exactly what it is and how it occurs. Let's start. Let's say this is a sound reflecting surface, maybe the surface of a hill or maybe any other surface. Uh, if a person is, let's say, standing in front of it at certain distance and if he makes a loud sound, then what happens? Sound travels in the form of wave up to this surface and again it returns back by the reflection of sound through this surface, through this surface. And the we are talking about uh, the condition of ego. Let's say the distance between this person and sound reflecting surface is x and when it returns back then again it takes the same distance. I mean to say it covers the same distance. It means uh, distance covered by the sound to go up to this surface and come back to the ear of this person is 2x. Okay. Now uh, there is one fact about the pers persistence of hearing. If a sound enters into our ear, it remains up to 1 by 10 seconds in our ear uh, and then uh, its effect goes out. Now, what happens when a person says something in loud voice, let's say if he says A, then let's say this is the length of time up to which uh, the effect of that A remains in his ear. Now this is the length of the time till the effect of A remains. And if it reflects back and comes to his ear after 1 by 10 seconds, again A comes to his ear. But here we have a time gap. Look at this time gap. It means once when he say A, then sound enters into his ear. And the same sound also moves forward and reflects back and comes after 1 by 10 seconds when the effect of previous sound is finished in our ear. What it means? The same A can be heard twice. That's why it becomes A, A. This is echo. It means repetition of sound. Repetition of sound due to the reflection of sound waves is called echo. This way we can understand echo. Now, what is reverberation? Reverberation is similar to this condition. I mean to say we can explain you know, within the same condition. If he says A and that A enters into his ear and remains up to 1 by 10 seconds in his ear and again when it comes back and enters into his ear within the same 1 by 10 seconds, let's say this is the first A which entered into his ear and reflected sound again came back to his ear and uh, it also uh, it also gives the effect of A but previous A is not finished effect of previous A in the ear is not finished another A came that's why the effect of A becomes longer and we'll be able to hear A this is called reverberation reverberation means what? Reverberation means the long drawn effect of sound. Long drawn. The long drawn effect of sound due to the reflection of sound is called uh, reverberation. This uh, repetition of sound due to the reflection of sound waves is called echo, but the long drawn effect of sound due to the reflection of sound waves is called reverberation. Okay. Now, in which condition? Uh, we'll be able to see echo and reverberation theoretically explained. Now, I want to go through the distance also. Let's say uh, the distance between this person and reflecting surface is x, then sound has to cover the distance to x to return back to uh, the, his ear. And this is distance. And we know that velocity equal to velocity or speed of sound Velocity equal to distance by time, distance by time. Now, distance is 2x and we know velocity of sound in average it is 340 meter per second. Velocity of sound uh, at 0 degree Celsius it is 332 but normally 
uh, at normal temperature 10 20 degrees celsius and we we are taking 340 as average and this velocity is 340 meter per second and distance covered by this sound wave is 2x and uh, let's say what i mean to say uh, the sound produced by this person comes to his ear exactly after 1 by 10 second if the distance between this person and sound reflecting surface is x now i'm going to calculate x look at this 2x is equal to 340 meter per second into 1 by 10 s now second second cancel if we divide then what happens 2x is equal to uh, 34 and x is equal to therefore x is equal to 34 divided by 2 becomes what 17 meter what it mean why i am calculating this if the distance between the person and sound reflecting surface is 17 meter then reflected sound comes to his ear exactly after 1 by 10 second this means this is demarcation distance demarcation line i mean to say 17 meter if the distance between this person and sound reflecting surface is more than 17, 17 meter then reflected sound comes to his ear after 1 by 10 second and this is the condition of echo and if the distance between these two is uh, less than 17 meter then reflected sound enters into his ear within 1 by 10 second and this is the condition of reverberation this way we can understand the condition of echo and reverberation more than this i can differentiate these two by the following table also look at this table what are the differences between echo and reverberation first we can say repetition of sound due to the reflection of sound waves is called echo but what is reverberation long drawn effect of sound due to the reflection of sound wave is called reverberation Echo occurs when sound wave is reflected back by a surface lying beyond 17 meter. But reverberation occurs when sound wave is reflected back by a surface lying nearer than 17 meter. This echo can be heard when reflected sound wave enters into the ear after 1 by 10 second of the original sound. On the other hand, reverberation can be heard only when reflected sound wave enters into the ear before 1 by 10 second of the original sound. Okay, this must be today.